I take care of most everyday tasks like cooking, housework, or managing your appointments, for example. Mm. Have you ever pondered the intriguing rise of female robots and the growing fascination surrounding them? It's an intriguing phenomenon worth exploring. From the enchanting allure of Erica, one of the most captivating robots, to the mesmerizing Sophia, Jia Jia, Asuna, and even Samantha, the world's most renowned sex doll, these female robots have captured the imaginations of countless individuals. Hi everyone. My name is Harmony. I'm a companion robot created by Robotics. Welcome to Robot Future, where we dive into the captivating world of robots, artificial intelligence, and future technology. Before we delve into, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for updates. Now, without any delay, let's dive right in. Over the past few years, the realm of robotics has experienced remarkable advancements, not only in manufacturing, but also in the service industry. We now witness robots gracefully serving food in restaurants and warmly welcoming guests at hotels. While robots themselves do not possess biological gender, a fascinating study conducted by experts at Washington State University in the U.S. shed light on an intriguing trend. It turns out that female robots are more likely to be favored by individuals than their male counterparts. The reasons behind this preference are quite intriguing. People tend to gravitate towards interacting with robots that exude a feminine aura, especially when they possess human-like characteristics. The study revealed that participants who engaged with female robots reported feeling more at ease and satisfied compared to those who interacted with male robots. Intriguingly, the researchers also made another captivating discovery. Among female robots, those with a human-like face are preferred over the screen-type counterparts. It seems that people naturally feel more comforted when they are cared for by female figures. This preference can be attributed to existing gender stereotypes surrounding service roles. Subancio, one of the researchers, explains, gender stereotypes about service roles seem to transfer to robot interactions, and this effect becomes even more pronounced when the robots possess striking human-like qualities. This finding opens up a fascinating discussion about the intricate ways in which our preconceived notions and biases shape our interactions with advanced technologies. The fascinating evidence suggests that individuals who interacted with female robots found their encounters to be more enjoyable compared to those who engaged with male robots. Interestingly, female robots held an advantage due to their ability to appear more human-like. But why exactly do we lean towards female robots? One reason is rooted in the perception that women are less threatening and more amiable than their male counterparts. Hable Palin, an expert in the field, highlights the associations we have been culturally conditioned to make with female voices, such as warmth, hospitality, and nurturing qualities. While these associations are not inherently essential, they are socially constructed, and engineers have consciously chosen female personalities for robots to create a sense of familiarity and acceptance among customers. This trend holds true in most countries, where domestic work and healthcare are predominantly seen as female-specific domains in which female robots are perceived to excel. On the other hand, fields like security or math tutoring are often considered male-centric, and consumers may lean towards male robots in these contexts. The captivating matching theory suggests that a robot's appearance, aligned with its role in the interaction, has a significant impact on people's willingness to follow its instructions and the overall success of their cooperation with the robot. It turns out that customers have a preference for robots that possess human-like traits such as a human voice, emotions, and physical appearance, rather than those that appear purely robotic. The reason behind this preference is rooted in the simplicity of human-like interactions. When interacting with robots that exhibit human-like characteristics, individuals can effortlessly apply established social standards and expectations from human-to-human -human interactions. The study reveals that when a robot is perceived as being human-like, it excels in easing and facilitating human-robot interactions. By aligning with familiar social scripts and expectations, the robot becomes more controllable and predictable, making the interaction feel easier and more familiar to individuals. 
As a result, when people feel comfortable and at ease with a robot, they are more likely to utilize its services. Professor Blutz highlighted the growing demand for mental health treatments in the world, especially due to the pandemic. With the shortage of qualified mental health providers, machines are stepping up to serve as the first point of contact for those in need. Many people favor robots as health managers because they believe these machines could provide faster solutions to their health-related concerns. Robots may not replace human mental health providers, but they can certainly bridge the gap in providing basic mental health care to those in need. Artificial intelligence, AI, is a powerful tool that has proved to help employees work more efficiently, receiving praises from those who have benefited from its insights. Leaders can learn from this and strive to provide their teams with enough data and information to carry out their jobs with clarity. In uncertain times, employees increasingly look to their companies and leaders for guidance. Leaders should be as transparent as possible, even when the news is not ideal, as informed individuals are better able to make decisions and take action. Additionally, when machine learning takes over repetitive tasks and reduces workloads, it can help reduce burnout and increase productivity. This is a crucial insight for leaders to align duties and skills, ensuring even distribution of workloads across team members. As technology progresses, the use of artificial intelligence, AI, for mental health therapy is becoming more common. Many people are choosing to trust in non-human confidants such as robots, according to a recent global poll conducted by Workplace Intelligence and Oracle. Only 18% of over 12,000 workers surveyed chose to talk to a human manager about stress and anxiety at work, while 68% preferred a robot. Additionally, 80% said they were open to having a robot as a therapist or counselor. There's a global stigma around mental health, and people hold back from seeking help from humans because they fear being judged. Robots can provide non-judgmental replies and rank blindness, making mental health assistance available on a large scale. They don't care if the person seeking help is a CEO or a lower-level employee, providing equal support to all. As leaders, it's essential to understand this and consider incorporating AI technology to provide equitable mental health support to all team members. Robots and mental health may seem like an unlikely pairing, but recent research suggests that they may be a perfect match. In fact, decades-old research has shown that individuals are more likely to be honest when talking to a voice response system than when talking to a real human. Additionally, MIT's recent study found that workers were more likely to say that robots understood them better and improved team efficiency. Not only that, but evidence has shown that people can create emotional connections with robots, leading to socio-emotional ties that are not expressly meant to elicit social behavior. For example, youngsters with autism have enjoyed interacting with robots and formed a strong attachment with them. As robots continue to develop and become more human-like, they may offer a solution to the stigmas surrounding mental health, providing non-judgmental assistance on a large scale. Imagine a world where robots simplify social interactions, making communication more manageable and enjoyable for children with autism. According to Mohamed Mar, an associate professor of electrical and computer engineering, robots can focus on one social aspect at a time, reducing the complexity of facial expressions and restoring the non-judgmental nature of human emotions. The impact is remarkable children who interact with these social robots show increased engagement, attentiveness, and unique behaviors like spontaneously emulating the robot. Research has revealed that these simplified social experiences with robots can be transformative for children with autism, unlocking social skills and capabilities they may not have exhibited before. Families are embracing this innovative therapy approach, with one mother sharing how the robot taught her new ways of doing things, which she plans to continue using. The robot has made therapy fun and opened up possibilities that were once unimaginable. In conclusion, the popularity of humanoid robots continues to captivate and amaze us. These incredible machines, with their human-like features and advanced capabilities, have captured the imagination of people around the world. Why do you think these insane humanoid robots have become such a sensation? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, 
subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing content and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the latest discoveries in the world of robotics. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next exciting episode.